the thing is, they're not, they're not the, they're a bit cheap. They're not the greatest arches. This is going to be a frog, frog house. It's already a broken pot, but I'm going to half bury it in this earth, uh, just here in front of the pond. Afternoon. <laughs> it is the afternoon. I've got it right. I checked. I'm just through the door. Oh, hi everybody. I hope you're all well. It's so windy. Um, I've got a new addition from my subscriber wall. Jax, you'll recognise this. I like it so much. <laughs> this is what I had the chocolate. If you watch my cooking channel, you'll know. Um, Jax, Colin and Harrison sent me some housewarming gift um, chocolate. Oh, and it was lovely. But this was like part of it. It was sort of encased in this. Uh, just see if you want to read that. I'm going to stick it on the wall, like, like that. I think that would be really lovely. Right there. So let me do that now. While the Strike while the iron's hot. Um, yeah, I've got coffee. Uh, oh, I bought some seeds from Lidl. Uh, I think it was um, five for two pounds, which is pretty good. I'll just go over that, what that was in a minute. I'm just going to pour a coffee because I've been at work. So this is this is why. Let me just get this up. Oops. Look at that. Oops, can you see? The new hoose. Hope it's dead, pure dead brilliant. <laughs> How cool is that? That's so lovely. Thank you, Jax and Colin and Harrison. Oh, coffee. Yeah. Oh, lovely. Ugh. So windy. My foot's killing me for some reason. I mustn't forget to cut some rosemary because I fancied making um, green olive and rosemary bread for the chat for, for my cooking channel. Uh, I've got the green olives. I just need some rosemary, and I just felt this, it sounded lovely. No need. That's what I'm going to do again, but do an overnight rise. Anyway, that'll be on my other channel. Not in a week or so. I mean, not yeah, planning. Oh. Right, I'm going to go and cut some rosemary now because otherwise I'm going to forget. Come with me and have a blustery little worm tool. Oh. Oh, nearly. I'll just put my microphone on. I nearly forgot. Oh, scissors. So I came here yesterday, but it was chock-a-block with people. So I, I did some jobs. Oops. Well, I did, I did a few things. I didn't do masses because the weather was quite rubbish. Sorry, you're shaking and all that. That should do it. Uh, oh, one more. One more for luck. Oh, I love the smell of rosemary. What a herb. What a herb. Oh. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's gorgeous. Mmm. Oh, lovely. Right, stick that in the bag. Oh, I'll show you the seeds. I will pop these in water because they do, they're rooting really well, which is fab. Get some extra. Anyway, so five seeds, five seed packets for two pound in Lidl. Climbing beans. I can't see my glasses. Oh no, where's my glasses? Oh, uh, climbing beans. Yeah, I really want to grow French beans. I tried last year, but they, they just kept failing. So I must hopefully this year. Some uh, golden beetroot, um, chard, and some flowers. Snapdragon and spring flower bl blossoms. Yeah, and I've got my tin of seeds out as well because I was having a look yesterday, checking them out. Um, yeah. 
So I've got courgettes to, to sow soon. Oh, I did, I did sow a few things yesterday because I was just, where they, where they had died, I haven't got new compost, so it's a bit of a, you know, risky manoeuvre. And I can't, I haven't got my glasses. French, I think that's French climbing beans. Just starting them off in, inside. What else? Oh, it's a monge two, a couple of, just four monge two, just starting off trying. Oh, well, that's the French climbing beans. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Memory. Oh, oh, glasses. Oh, I've got a spare pair. Oh, oh, good. Sorry about this. Honestly, just can't get the stuff. Oh, um, what, one thing, good thing to start early is a melon because it needs a really long sowing season. So hopefully they'll germinate. I think I put two in each hole, so there's eight. And when they, if they germinate, hopefully they do. Um, just keep them in the shed for as long as possible, you know, until I can plant them out. Last frost and all that kind of stuff. Oh, this is nice. Right, I've got loads of seeds, so many. Uh, they really want to grow these. Squash, yellow, bush scallop. I think Jennifer Harvey, I think you told me about these. I think it was you, Jennifer. Uh, okay, asparagus, has anyone grown asparagus? Because I'm, I, I haven't and I wouldn't mind trying that. Uh, another cabbage. Oh, I love cabbage. Um, I've got loads of French, oh, runner bean, moonlight. These are all from Premier Seeds, these ones, the silver packet ones. Uh, the French climbing bean, um, but I actually have sown some of this Blue Lake variety. Um, what else? I've got sweet pea. I do like the flowering vines. They did quite well last year, so I must remember. What's that? Is that leeks? Because I've got leeks. Yeah. Well, there's leeks already like a... But they, I can't let them out. Let them out plant them out until um, really the risk of last frost has gone so I will be keeping a close eye in fact there's a website isn't there um, if I f I'll find it and I'll stick it in the description it's a good website I've, I've used it oh cucumber La Diva I really want to try cu more cucumbers more beetroot red stem mm. I can't wait to do some sewing like proper outside but you know, it's too early. Oh, shallots, I want to get some shallots. February sowing. Um, I am working on an allotment planner for, um, you know, for January, February, for a monthly allotment planner, which will hopefully, well, be available at, uh, at Christmas. I mean, we're a long way off. <laughs> um, but all my artwork will be in it which is really nice. I mean, I did, I'm, it's lovely to be able to use all that artwork because I've got tons of it, which I did years ago, allotment based, you know, all the originals. So it's, it's, it's very fitting. All right, should we go and have a little look around? Oh, before I came into the shed, I did try, attempt to fix the um, arch. Whether it will hold or not is another matter. Let's go and have a look. Okay, look, look at the arch, it's still holding. It's kind of more leaning to the left now, but it's more upright than it, than it was leaning. <laughs> um, I'm kind of using a, a big cane to buttress against it, and that might not hold. And there's another one there, which is sort of wedged. Yeah. I mean, this all didn't really work, did it? This this attempt. I'll have to sort of neaten that up. I can't do it one-handed. Um, it might be worth me having a little go at the um, this arch because it's looking a little bit leaning forward onto the path, which isn't brilliant. Let's go and do that now while we're chatting about it. You can watch me wrestle with it. Hopefully you can see, all right. Oh. It's 
just got to try and just kind of come out of its um oh sorry but they're not they're not the they're a bit cheap they're not the greatest arches oh yeah look because this one's come off <sighs> screw it back in i mean that's a bit better All the new buds on the uh, boysenberry, which is great. Oh. Yeah, that's going to really start growing. Uh. <laughs> as soon as I push it in, it kind of pushes back out again. Let's have a look as far away. That's a bit better. Okay. So today, frog pond a little bit just to get basically there. Try and move the soil over. I mean, really, uh, what I might do is empty the um, uh, wheelbarrow and use that be a lot easier okay let's do that I'm gonna go and get the wheelbarrow stick you on time lapse get the wheelbarrow empty it somewhere on a bed any bed that's not being used and I'll see you in a bit <laughs> Oh, right, so can you see that? Ooh. Um, quite a bit, bit has gone on top, not all of it obviously. Oh, geez, that's it's gonna take a while, but a little bit each day. I'm gonna line the front with some rocks, like on the end there, just because I've got more at home. Uh, just as an edging, so it doesn't fall over and then into the pond, we don't want that. So I'm actually gonna dig, this is gonna be a frog, frog house. It's already a broken pot but I'm going to half bury it in this earth, uh, just here in front of the pond. Oh, let's just put you there. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah, just do a little bit each day. Oh, golden in it. Oh, it's a bit of wood. <laughs> I don't know what's underneath here, so it might... Let's hope it's not too... I mean, I might find a Roman coin, you never know. Although it's unlikely, but... <sighs> Ugh. Ran out of battery. But luckily I've got a spare. 
keep digging because I've got to bury this pot before end of play. That's good. Hope you can see that. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it will grass or whatever will grow at the front, 100%. I'm sure uh, pl I'll plant some, but I reckon it should be much more obscured. Come more growing stuff. I'm coming to get you. Oh my gosh. Oh. Yeah, I right, step back a bit. Have a good, good look. Oops. Oh, I like that. Oh, I've been eyeing up that pot for a frog habitat for well months, weeks, months. Yeah, that will look. That's going to look great. Oh my God, I need a coffee. Oh. Right, let's go in the shed. See you in the shed. Wow. Let's have another coffee. And then, uh, I don't think I've got anything else. No. Oh. Oh. I am unfit. Oh gosh. Right, I come here to wait for, for Jim on the days that I'm working, so it's useful because it means I should get a lot done. Because uh, a lot does need doing. Oh, oh that's better. Okay, I've got to go. <laughs> I say thanks so much for watching everybody. Um, see the new hoofs. <laughs> Jax, that looks lovely there. I'm very happy. Um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Uh, yeah, hopefully, well, hopefully we'll have some sunny weather because it's just so much nicer when it's sunny. But I've heard that there's rain coming. So, you know, at least I'll have the shed to do because I do have um, some to put up. So yeah, that'll be good. See you on the next one. Bye.